Do you miss old Disneyland, the Disneyland of your childhood? While I do love current Disneyland, I will always miss the Disneyland of the 1970s and 1980s. While you may be thinking that I need a time machine to go back to the Disneyland of my childhood, there is a real world solution. Go to Florida! Yes! Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom has gone through far fewer changes than Disneyland, so the Magic Kingdom actually feels like the Disneyland of my childhood. Here is how. While Tomorrowland is exciting, it has always had the problem of becoming outdated. After a while, Tomorrowland becomes Yesterdayland. The original 1955 Tomorrowland was updated in 1967 to a World on the Move theme, with such additions as People Mover, Carousel of Progress, and Adventure Through Inner Space. Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom opened in 1971 with the same World on the Move theme, but the difference is its theme has never changed. In an effort to solve the temporariness of Tomorrowland, in 1992, Disneyland Paris opened with a new concept for Tomorrowland called Discoveryland. Instead of trying to predict the future, Discoveryland looks back at visions of the future from the past. Part steampunk, part Jules Verne, and definitely European. In 1998, Disneyland opened its Tomorrowland to reflect the Discoveryland look. It was the new, new Tomorrowland. Its most significant new attraction was Rocket Rods, which replaced the Pupil Mover with a faster pace. Unfortunately, Rocket Rods closed down after a couple of years, leaving guests with nothing. No Rocket Rods, no Pupil Mover. In the 1980s, I used to go to Disneyland nearly every day. I wasn't working or going to school. Sometimes I wouldn't go on a single ride. Well, except for one. I never failed to go on the people mover. It never had a line. And I could keep right on talking with my friends as we cruised around Tomorrowland. Sadly, the people mover closed down in 1995, but the Magic Kingdom has carried on the legacy with the Tomorrowland Transit Authority people mover. Whenever I ride it, it takes me right back to Anaheim, California in 1984. The People Mover traveled through Space Mountain in California, as it currently does in the Magic Kingdom. But these Space Mountain experiences are no longer the same. In 1996, music was added to the Space Mountain experience in California, and has altered the experience ever since. Walt Disney World never added the soundtrack. While the Disneyland music is a positive addition, riding at Sister Mountain in Walt Disney World brings me right back to the silence and screams of Disneyland Space Mountain of the 70s and 80s. As a toddler, my parents held me in their arms while watching the Carousel of Progress. A few years later in the same building, America Sings taught me the music of Americana. It's not such a great big beautiful tomorrow for the Carousel of Progress in Disneyland, but now is the time for it in Walt Disney World, where it is still playing to this day. As a toddler, at the end of the Carousel of Progress, my parents would carry me upstairs to see the model of Walt's vision for an experimental prototype community of tomorrow. This model was what Epcot was going to be when Walt was alive, before Epcot was reimagined as the theme park Epcot Center. No longer on display at Disneyland, part of this model can still be seen while riding the People Mover in the Magic Kingdom in Florida. I'm not a fan of round rides, but I did like the old rocket jets because it had a view of Tomorrowland way up high on the third level, towering above the People Mover Station. Rocket Jets was brought down to Earth on the ground floor and renamed Astro Orbiter. Do you miss the aerial view of Tomorrowland? Me too! But you can still get an astronaut's view of Tomorrowland in Florida's Magic Kingdom. From the world of tomorrow to the world of fantasy, Disneyland updated its Fantasyland in 1983. Prior to the update, you used to be able to take a break from the sun and chill in the Fantasyland Theater. The Fantasyland Theater would play old-timey Mickey Mouse cartoons such as Mickey's Trailer. Well, Disney World doesn't technically have a Fantasyland Theater to watch cartoons. You can get a similar experience with their 3D film, Mickey's PhilharMagic. Not only does it offer classic cartoon characters, its entrance and queue give off an old Fantasyland vibe, as if you just walked through the castle in Anaheim circa 1979. From Fantasyland to New Orleans Square. Since I was a kid, my two favorite attractions have always been Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion. At Disneyland since 2001, the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay, Haunted Mansion Holiday, has occupied the mansion in Disneyland every year from the Halloween season until the end of the Christmas season. Can you believe Disneyland guests have not seen the classic Haunted Mansion on Halloween day since the year 2000? 
In fact, the classic haunted mansion is only available on the West Coast about eight months per year. Never fear, foolish mortal. No matter what time of year you visit Walt Disney World, you can get your classic haunted mansion fix. As an American, one of the reasons I love Disneyland is that it teaches us about American culture. The Country Bear Jamboree showcased uniquely American country music with style and humor. Sadly, the Country Bears took their final bows at Disneyland in 2001. But the Country Bears still have a permanent residency at the Magic Kingdom in Florida, albeit with two fewer songs. In 2012, the songs Fractured Folk Song and Pretty Little Devilish Mary were removed, perhaps to shorten the show for modern modern attention spans. Nevertheless, a little Country Bear Jamboree is way better than no Country Bears. My favorite part of Disneyland has always been the West Side, Adventureland, Frontierland, Bear Country, and New Orleans Square. In 1992, the nighttime spectacular Phantasmic premiered and for the most part has been playing ever since. It's a great show, but it completely takes over the West Side at nighttime. To me, the crowds on the West Side at night make it less enjoyable. While Walt Disney World does have Fantasmic, it does not play in the Magic Kingdom. It plays in Disney's Hollywood Studios. In fact, it has its own theater dedicated to Fantasmic, so it does not negatively impact Hollywood Studios ambiance either. So in Florida, you can still enjoy the peacefulness of the West Side at nighttime in the Magic Kingdom. It is often said that you can't go home again. Well, I beg to differ. If you grew up with the Disneyland of the 1970s and 1980s, you can go home again. That home has just been moved to Florida. Now I want to hear from you. What theme park did you grow up with? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then you will love these videos. Pick one and I'll see you over there.